you know, you look at Calvin Phillips, he looks as if he's a player that's sitting in front of the back four here, you know. Here's Berardi in the right back position along the floor to Roof. He flicks it on, it's picked up by right. number four. James for Forest Green Rovers. He chips it down the left wing. Good run by Doge, but out comes the goalkeeper. Peacock Farrell, good clearance, right footed from just yeah. outside the area. He looked quite sharp there, centre forward. Just now ball down. Throw to Forest Green Rovers. We've just played a minute and 15 seconds here. Forest Green Rovers nil, Leeds United nil. Midway inside the Leeds United half out on the Forest Green left. Nice little flick down there. But in the end, it's Bit of head tennis in the centre of the park, cleared away by 23 Phillips to nobody in particular, picked up by number six Rawson for Forest Green. He, he's a big lad. He is a very <laughs> big lad. I think he's about up. six foot seven. <laughs> now he's watching him warming up. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Rawson. Ball chipped forward to the edge of the Leeds United area, headed away by Cooper and picked up by Phillips. Back to the goalkeeper. Peacock Farrell, left footed, over the halfway line it goes, aiming for Roof. He doesn't get it. Rawson was there. He had a good finish to the season last season, a young goalkeeper, you know. So it'll be a, a sort of 1v1, will it? Well, <laughs> for the number one position? Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably. Yes, just to remind you that the, uh, the two new signings for Leeds United. Jamal Blackman and Lewis Baker aren't here tonight. The keeper and the midfield player. Here's a free kick to Forest Green. Out on their right, just five yards inside their half, on the halfway line, chipped to the edge of the Leeds area. Dodge with a little flick on. It's down to Grubb. He can't control it. Just outside the D, but it's back. And there's a foul there by Roof, just outside the centre circle, on number 16. The ball taken very quickly. That was Gunning down to Reed and across the move petering out on the edge of the Leeds area sprayed across to Ailing in the right back position Hernandez playing a nice one too but well spotted yeah, there nice. by 23 Mills and a throw in to Leeds United nice you can see move. Hernandez has started on the right hand side of the midfield you know at number 19 you know he could play anywhere but he started the right hand side Messiah is getting into that central area He'll be trying to support Kima Roof up front. Well, when we get a break in the play, Eddie, perhaps we can just run through the team so yeah. everybody's aware of the actual positions yeah. they're playing. At the moment, it's Dallas out on the left wing, going on a bit of a run. Looks quite lively down there, chips it down the line, but doesn't get to Roof. It's headed out for a throw-in to be taken by Dallas, midway inside the Forest Green half, out on the Leeds left. Ball with Ailing across to Phillips. And here is Berardi. Out to Hernandez. Down the line it oh, goes sorry, yeah. to. No, he so a, he, he made the run too early there. He did. Look, Ellen. No, look, Ellen playing right back. Berardi and Cooper centre backs. Stuart Dallas left back. Calvin Phillips sitting in front of the, the back four. And you get more or less get your two central midfielders in there. You know, you get Sai is in there. You know. Before Shaw and the two wide players are, you know, Aliowski and Hernandez. But more or less, when it breaks down, they're playing like a four in the middle of the pitch, as you can see there. Yeah. And Roof Ops eight front is on. Yeah. You know. There we are. That's what the team is, and the ball is now flicked on by Doidge in the left wing position, but it's cleared it's by Berardi. Big long down to kick to Roy yeah. to Roof. Is Roof in here? Just outside the area. Needs a bit of help. Decides to bring in. Alioski cuts inside and then squares oh. the ball back. Along the floor he goes to Alioski. Will he try a shot just inside the area? Back it goes. Oh. And the ball eventually cleared away. I must admit, I, I had a camera in my line of vision yeah, there. Yeah, I thought, what happened? I thought Kima Riff could have done a lot bit better when he got through there. You know, I thought he sort of tried to finish himself. You know, he held on the ball a little bit too long because he was getting behind the big centre back. As we say, centre back's a big light, but uh, pace doesn't look his, his greatest asset. Here's Forshaw in the centre circle, spreads the ball out. Nice pass to Alioski down the Offside, left. Again. Yeah, up goes the flag offside. So it's Berardi and Cooper in the centre of the defence. Ailing 
playing at right back and Dallas at left back. And then Phillips playing virtually just in front of Just him. in front of the back four, yeah. yeah. I mean, but they're dropping in, you know, and, and leaving, you know, Kima Roof up there on their own when they're, you know, they're looking for possession of the ball when they're defending a the goal. Free kick to be taken by Montgomery, just five yards outside the area to the left of the D as we look. Up, aiming for Deutsch, it hasn't got, he didn't get a flick on, it's uh, gone got, for a goal kick. Yeah. Yes, quite a decent crowd. Decent crowd. Just going to say, it's a really nice mm -hmm. night yeah. in a nice part of the country. And looking around the ground, a lot of Leeds fans here. Yes, as I drove <laughs> up, Eddie, all I could see was Leeds yeah. fans. Obviously, very important to them. It's the well, first game of the season. First game of the season. They're looking forward to it. They're looking forward to seeing the team. You know what the manager can bring to the party. You know, is the goal kick from Peacock Farrell aiming for Roof. He's out jumped by Rawson. Ailing down to Hernandez. Good play for Shaw. Retains possession but then loses possession because Phillips couldn't get there. And then a loose ball from Forrest Green is picked up eventually by Cooper on the angle of the area, out on the left. Inside to Phillips, to Forshaw, back to Phillips, back to Forshaw. These two running the midfield for Leeds United. Hernandez comes short and then turns inside, wearing 19, looking for some support. Comes from Ailing in the right wing position, he gets the cross into the oh, near oh, post. Well, Roof, oh, chance. chance for Roof, Great eight chance. yards out, didn't get a very think, clean connection though in the end. Yeah, I think he had a little bit more time than they thought there. He could have steadied himself a bit, he just seemed to lunge at it. He never made good connection at all. Good run by Ailing yeah, down the right, ball. and a good ball in. It's one of his strengths, look Ailing, comes into the game well. So a chance there for Leeds United, but it's Forrest Green now on the attack Played. through Winchester to Deutsch, out on the left. He's trying to get past Ailing, he can't. And Ailing chips the ball down the line, aiming for Roof. Good play by number seven, Winchester, for Forrest Green. Plays a one-two with Rawson, picks the ball up in the center circle. And then a foul in the center circle. And so it's a free kick to Forrest Green, taken quickly. Number 11, Williams. And Eventually the ball coming back to Rawson. Across to Gunning, he chips it long, far too long, to the edge of the Leeds area. Foul on Forshaw, free kick to Leeds United, midway inside their half. And we played eight minutes. What are your thoughts, yeah, well, Eddie? I think, you know, the Leeds United team have settled down quite quickly. You know, they're getting a lot of the ball in the midfield area. They seem to be getting time and space to, you know, pick the passes. You know, and if the game continues in this way, and it doesn't seem too long to me before they'll be, you know, be, be up in again, you know, because they're creating a few chances, and making a few openings. Phillips with a wonderful ball to Ailing down the right. Ailing cuts yeah. inside and then onto his left foot, puts it along the floor yeah. to Roof. He slides in at the near post, can't get a touch, and it's think, Montgomery who collects it. I think, you know, looking at the early stages of the game, you know, we're finding it very easy to get down in there. You know, our right hand side, their left hand side, look, Ailing's making runs, that's about two or three times he's been beyond them, getting balls into the box and creating chances. Ball with the Forest Green keeper, Montgomery, right footed, up to the edge of the Leeds area, aiming for Reed, it's Grubb. Good play by Grubb, no, no, no. fine challenge there by Phillips, Phillips, just outside the D, picked up by Alioski, and Alioski chips the ball in. From the right to the far post. In fact, I've. And there was Sayers, yeah. I'm sorry. No, I've no, Alioski on the ball now. Yeah, Alioski on the ball now. Yeah. I thought he was oh. size, but in fact, it eventually it's goes back enough. to the goalkeeper. They, they do look similar. They do look a bit similar. They do. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Size is 21 just... and Alioski is 10. My mistake. Anyway, the ball back with Montgomery on his six yard area. Right footed, out it goes to Gunning, 16, and then from the left-back position, aiming long for Deutsch. Header in the end by Cooper is way out of the area, out of the half, picked up by Forrest Green. Is Gunning, left-footed from the edge of the Leeds United half, but straight through to Peacock Farrell, 
Out it goes to Dallas in the left back position. Forshaw comes short and eventually it's Cooper who gives it to Forshaw. And he spreads it out to Dallas on the left. Roof is further down the left wing. But the ball is picked up easily by Rawson and he lays it back to Montgomery. I think they're finding it a little bit difficult just now to stop us for getting on the ball, passing it around. Here's Montgomery, short ball to Williams, wearing number seven, just outside the D. Nice little run there. Fine challenge, but picked up. No nope, foul on number four. I think size just clipped on me, he was running by him. That's right. Size on James, so a free kick to Forest Green Rovers. Just inside their half. I think it should be just inside the Leeds United half, but it's been taken inside the centre circle, inside the Forest Green half. Four pass by Rawson, picked up by Hernandez in the middle of the park, out to Ailing. Cross to Hernandez, under pressure from Grubb, lays it back to Berardi, and across it goes to Cooper. Cooper striding forward, looking very purposeful. He's got Dallas outside him, and he brings him into the game. Along the floor he goes. That's a very loose pass. Picked up by Williams. Good play by Grubb. He's fouled. No, he isn't. Play on, says the referee. James lays it out to Shepard in the right back position. Shepard back to James. James under pressure from another number four, for sure, but gets away with it. But Dallas is in oh, right. just inside the yeah, room in forest the right green again. Size. Skipping past a couple of tackles in midfield, looking for support. It comes from Alioski. On the left wing, onto his right foot. Can he get the cross in? It goes to size on the edge of the area, looking for some support. He's looking to chip it into the area. He does, but it's Reed eventually who gets the ball away. And Forrest Green back to Montgomery. There, keeper left-footed up to Reed, up to Doidge, over both. Doidge gets a little flick on it, but can't control it. Cooper rather nonchalantly plays it back to Peacock Farrell in the Leeds United goal. And the ball eventually with Phillips. He spreads it wide to Ailing in the right back or right wing back position. Chip down the line. Good ball. For Hernandez. Lovely ball. Good can ball. he get to the byline? Yes, he can. Yeah, but never, I don't never, think never made good connection with the cross. He didn't, and no. I don't think Ruth was quite there with him. Well, was it? I think I think Ruth was thinking of pulling away to the back post. Ah, right. You know. Thirteen and a half minutes of the first half gone here at the New Lawn. You're listening, or you're watching rather, Leeds United TV. What's Forest all? Green Rovers nil, Leeds United nil. Forest Green on yeah. the attack, a loose pass, yeah, trying to send Shepherd down the right, throw into Leeds United. Sorry, Eric. So far, it's been very comfortable, you know, for Leeds United. You know, they're, they're not causing too many problems at the present time. And as I said earlier, we're finding a lot of time and space to go on the ball, get to the dead ball line, as we've seen there with Hernandez. He's got to pick the final pass out. Is Berardi. Spreads it wide to Ailing. Nobody's coming to him apart from maybe Hernandez, but Hernandez does come on the halfway line, then twisting and turning and lays it back to Berardi. Accelerating towards the halfway line. Picks up Hernandez. And then Hernandez goes long to that the left wing. It's a good ball go to Alioski, but it's been headed behind for a corner by Shepherd. And therefore. It's the first corner of the game, and it looks to me like it's going to be taken by Hernandez. Hernandez will whip it in, yeah. Yep. Strolling over, it's out on the forest green right, the Leeds United left. And we played nearly a quarter of an hour of this match. Forest Green Rovers nil, Leeds United nil. First corner of the game. Now, are we going to see a few England well, we'll see. set play yeah. plays? Yeah. We've seen a few players lining up inside the area, one after the other. A bit of pushing again. Yeah. Thomas Harms. Right footed to the far post. Chance. Roof. Goal. Yeah. yeah. Finished it well. Well done. Yeah. Left alone in the back post there. Good touch. And smacked in the back of it. He's had a couple of chances so far. Made no mistake with that one. A corner by Hernandez from the right. Wasn't cleared properly. And Roof was waiting on the far post. Picked it up. One touch. 
and then smash. I think it went in off a defender, Eddie, but uh, yeah, he'll the, claim that goal. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was his goal. And it was a well taken one. Yeah, I mean, Hernandez swinging their balls in with his right foot for the left hand side, it's always a threat, especially when you get, you know, decent headers of the ball attacking it. Their defenders just get a little bit of a mix up, and Kemar Roof found himself in his own in the back post under no pressure. But a good finish. It's, you know, it's the third chance he's had in the game, and he's stuck one away. About eight yards a, out. A decent goal scoring record last year, Kemar Roof, you know. Yeah. In two years at Ellen Road, made his name at Oxford United, yeah. where he scored 18 goals in 40 games, and he scored. 14 goals in 78 for Leeds. Yeah. I think he scored 13 last year, though. Yeah. Last season. A very useful man to lead the line for Leeds United, and he took that goal very well. He did have a bit of time because yeah. the ball came over. Yeah. I think it was, I think it might have flicked the top of the defender yeah, or whatever, just, but he controlled it well. Yeah. And then. It wasn't a great defender. No, no. <laughs> but he was alert, he took his chance, yeah. and Leeds United 1 0 up. Goal in the 16th minute. As I said earlier, Eddie, um, it was raining goals between Western Supermare <laughs> yeah, and yeah, Forest Green yeah. Rovers last week. <laughs> Six all draw. Yeah. Different type of game for them tonight. Absolutely. It's a chance for Reed down the right. Can he get the cross in? No. Fine Corner. challenge there. And that was Cooper sliding in on the byline just to the right of the goal as we look. That was very good defending. I know good the challenge. angle was tight for Ruben, Ruben Reed, but. Um, very good challenge by Cooper. Yeah. Corner to Forest Green Rovers. From their right to be taken by number 23. Mills, he's normally a left back and that's why they're using him. It's going to be a left footed in swinging corner from the right. All their big guns are up. There goes Deutsch, number nine, to the too far much, post. Can much. he get there too it's long? too much in the ball. That was obviously the move. They saw Deutsch making the run from the edge of the area to the far actually, post. Actually, wasn't he picked up? It would have been a better delivery. Absolutely, yeah. And there they are. You can hear the crowd, yeah, Eddie. Yeah. A quick word about them. Here, no, I mean, here in their thousands. Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming in numbers every game. Yeah. You know? Tremendous support. Yeah. The new lawn has been the home of Forest Green Rover since 2006, and it has a capacity of 5140 yeah. 2000 seated and I would say it's not far it's off it's full it's tonight. It's pretty busy tonight. Yeah. Here's Hernandez back to Berardi. Along the floor it goes to Sice. Back to Hernandez. Good intricate play by Leeds yeah. United and then a lovely ball by Berardi out to Ailing on the right wing. He slips it inside to Forshaw. He spots Dallas making yeah. a run out on the left wing. Dallas back to Aliozzi. Yeah. Back to Sice. Yep. Sice well along played. the floor to Hernandez on the edge of the air. Nice little chip forward trying to get Aliozzi in, but it's too heavy. Goes over the goal line and it's a goal kick to Forest Green Rovers. Forest Green Rovers won promotion to the Football League for the first time in 2017 after two near misses in 2015 and 16. And as you said, Eddie, they finished. I think it was 21st out of 24, just one point off the relegation zone, but that's a huge achievement in their it's first a, season. It's a great achievement for them to stay up, you know. I mean, you, know you, you look at clubs like this and think, all oh, credit to them, you know. I mean, I think the, the owner here has put a lot into the football club and he got his rewards. Yep, the owner, Dale Vince, huh? the Ecotricity Wind Power Company, is the uh, organization that funds this club it's the first vegan club in Britain if not the world good run by Stuart Dallas but yeah, just well played by Shepard he kept with him in the right back oh, position oh, then got okay, taken yeah. out and it's a free kick yeah, to Forest Ali Green get out, just yeah I mean <laughs> we mentioned Dale Vince he, he used to he used to be a traveler and he yeah, sort of yeah, worked, worked his, his way, way it, yeah and he's, he's done very built well. he's built this lovely ground yeah. and this a lovely place called Nailsworth yeah. and he sticks by his principles and as I say they went very close twice yeah. and then they finally get it and yep. if at first you don't succeed try try, try again try again yeah. yeah free kick taken up to the leads half picked up by Sice on the halfway line no foul says the referee good play by James through to Reed out on the right now who's up with him Doidge is there but he's had to 
slow down a little and a foul by Aliozzi. That was well. a bit Aliozzi unnecessary. Just give a free kick away there. Yeah. Yeah, number 10, Alioski, yeah. committing that foul out on the forest green right. He's yeah, he just says a button. This is that it wasn't going anywhere. No, you know, I just, I just thought that goal. seemed yeah. very unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Dangerous position. It's uh, what almost midway inside the Leeds United half, out on the forest green right, about five yards in from the touchline. And it's going to be either James or I would suggest Mills with a left footed in swinger. He's standing alongside him. It's James. Oh, Deutsch was there and a great header away yeah. by Phillips. Picked up by Grubb out on the left wing. Back inside. Williams tries a shot. It's cleared right. immediately by Dallas. And then a fine little run by Mills to tidy things up for Forest Green Rovers. Back to Carpenter, the goalkeeper it goes. And he's taking it a little bit more central and just out of his area. Looking for somebody to make a run. Reed and Doidge are the two target men. Here's Gunning in the left back position. Aiming for Doidge too long. Ailing picks it up. Phillips back to Ailing. Chip down the right. Aiming for Roof. Good, Good control touch. with his left foot and then his right foot. Out on the right wing now, Roof. Support comes from Hernandez. Cuts inside. Along the floor it goes. Right. And in it's the a end, little bit too intricate there. Yeah. yeah Luke Ailing was in the was box. He was trying to find Luke Ailing. He's got the opportunity to get forward a lot tonight, Luke Ailing. Yeah, nobody's really picking him up when no. he makes it runs forward. He almost set up a goal for Roof yeah. before Roof scored from Hernandez's corner out on the left. Ailing's been very prominent down the right wing. And here he is again, making a challenge. Deutsch, Deutsch flicked it over him, but yeah, there's Berardi in the right back position, right footed, up to the halfway line. Roof and number 16, gunning, wrestling each other, but eventually Shepard comes away with it for Forest Green Rovers. In the right back position, down the line it goes to Williams, number way, 11. It's been quite a satisfactory start to the game for Leeds United. You know, it doesn't make any difference much training you do. You know, these first games are always quite tough physically. You know, but I think they've caught very well so far. And uh, are all the pre-season games, Eddie, just about getting fit, match fit? Is that the big... Yeah, games like this, yeah. yeah. You, once, you, once you get near the kickoff, you know, probably the last pre-season game, everybody should be up and ready to go. In these games, they're beginning your fitness, you know. And that, that, the first thing you go when you lose your fitness levels, your concentration, and, you know. Here's Hernandez down the right, trying to link up with Ailing, but well spotted by Mills. Good play by Ailing, and oh, that's a, not a bad little effort Mills there from yeah, Roof. Off. He was the just offside. offside Roof, yeah. Ah, yeah. Chance fell to him. I think he was he was in an offside position when the ball was knocked in. I think. Right. They did fall with him. 14 yards out, yeah, and he yeah, thought, yeah, "I'll yeah. have a, well, I'll, I'll have a pop as goal." It was worth it. It was yeah. worth it. 23, 24 minutes gone. Leeds United leading 1-0. Goal scored by Roof in the 16th minute. It's been pretty comfortable for most of the game. We haven't had a, a save for Peacock Farrell to make so far. Forest Green have occasionally threatened. They had a corner. But overall, Leeds, I wouldn't say they're strolling through this. No, yeah, but Eddie, they're, comfortable, but they're, they're comfortable. They're comfortable, aren't they? Here's Ailing on, on the right, for sure. Out to Hernandez on the right wing. Tries to get the cross into Roof. It's picked up nicely by James, and then he hammers it away up to the halfway line, aiming for Reed. Good play by oh, Cooper, again by Phillips. Yeah. Out to Dallas. This is good football by Leeds United. Dallas, Forshaw, Sice, out to Alioski. Inside it goes to Forshaw, out on the left. And here's a chance for Roof. He's, he's sending Ailing in, yeah. and he scored. Yeah. That's a really good move by good Leeds play. United. Talk us through it, Eddie. Well, you know, the ball was switched to the, the left today. Good passing movements. A couple of good one touch play to about four or five players. But once again, I mean, it's too easy for Luke Allen to get in uh, down that right hand side. I mean, the left back, I think, is pushing in too, too deep, too close to his centre centre backs and he's leaving Luke Allen all the time in the space in the world to get in there. You've seen it there. I mean, when it was played in, 
to Kimar Roof. He had all the time in the world just to roll it to Luke Allen. Just picked his spot and bent in the corner. Good finish, though. Good finish. So it's been very, very comfortable so far. Forest Green Rovers nil, Leeds United 2. Two goals, one in the 16th minute by Roof. And then Roof turning from goal scorer to goal maker, setting up Ailing six yards out. Nice little finish. No chance for the goalkeeper and Leeds United. Well, we talked about them being well, comfortable. Um, yeah, we actually think both goals are both came for that, their left back position. No, where you know, as we said earlier, you know, Luke Ailing's getting all the time and the space, you know, to come into that position and cause them problems. And the man playing in the left back position is Mills, number 23, yeah. and he's taking the throw midway inside the Leeds United. Half and on their right, Forest Green's left. Down the line it goes to Doige. It's picked up by Hernandez. Back to Berardi. Good header there by Ro uh, by Gunning for Forest Green. And eventually they tidy up. Rawson decides to go all the way back, virtually from halfway to Montgomery, the goalkeeper, right-footed, aiming for Good Williams. Stuart Dallas. Yeah. Stuart Dallas playing at left back and looking very easy in that position. In fact, everybody's working hard. They all seem pretty fit. They yeah. all seem to want the ball, which I think is yeah, a really important thing. thing. Yeah. Forshaw losing out yeah. to yeah. Carpenter, or rather Winchester in midfield, and it's a free kick. 27 minutes of the first half gone. Forest Green Rovers nil, Leeds United two. Not exactly a stroll in the early evening sun, but Leeds looking comfortable, looking as if they could score. It's looking as if it could turn out that way. Yeah. There's a chance for Deutsch just about the penalty area. Yeah, look here, penalty Clever. spot area. Did well, look here, Good head of bike. Here's it. Ailing in the right back position. You can see Dallas all alone. Out of the left back position. Right the back to left back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Terrific stuff. His size. Looking for support. Going on a little run. Alioski back inside to size. This looks promising. There's Roof on a little bit of a run. It takes a deflection off a forest green defender. Straight into the arms of Montgomery. And we're coming up to the half hour mark. Good news for Leeds United supporters is that the club have agreed a price freeze on match ticket prices for next season. Very good. That's very good news, yeah. isn't it? But that's just called rewarding your loyal support, yeah, loyal isn't it? Support, yeah. yeah. Because they've supported the, the club for a second then. <laughs> yeah. No. no, the support has been fantastic. And tonight, well, it's good to see so many people here. I wouldn't say Nailsworth have been taken over by Leeds no, United no, supporters, no, but there are quite a, a few of them. There's a lot in them. And there's a long walk up. Do you see that hill as you came yes, up in your car already? Yeah. yeah, I've seen a guy going up in the bait. That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't have liked to have done that. Absolutely. It was a, I was pleased I was driving, mm. but it was a long way. But they're all here, and they're seeing their team turn uh, in a, a good, a, efficient performance tonight. Uh, and the, the thing about it is when you look at the game, and they've not done anything to rectify it, most of the attacks are starting with a right back, Luke Ayling. He comes into the game again there, plays it to Forshaw. Alioski into the area, oh, and slow. eventually Shepard with a strong challenge, picked up by Williams, okay. brought down by Alioski, and it's a free kick. And we've got a quick moment to bring you up to date with a couple of the fixtures that are coming up. It's York City on the 19th early, then Southend away next Sunday, Oxford United a week tonight and then Geisley on the 26th before instead of playing away from Ellen Road they're back there for Las Palmas, Las Palmas yeah. on the 29th. Yeah. And then it's a start. Does that sound like a, a reasonable sort of mix? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's one or two games in there. It'll be, you know, be tough, you know. But in you know, games like this, you, you, as I say, you know, first couple of games you play, you want the players to work on their fitness, and uh, maybe that's one of the reasons that the new coach has now been brought brought down 20, 25 players. You know, making a lot of changes. When you look at Lena, look at Lena again here. It's so easy for him to come into the game. And saying that, when people make it easy for you to come into the game, you've got to do it, though. <laughs> and to be and fair, he's doing, he, it. He, yeah. he's doing it. Here's Dallas out on the left for Leeds United. 
Alioski inside to Hernandez. Hernandez really getting around that midfield. He's mainly over on the right, but you see him into yeah. the middle and out to the left. And here he is setting up Ailing out on the right. Sice inside to Hernandez. Back to Phillips. Phillips along the floor mm. trying to link up. But it's a really good play. I think that was trying to get out to the eye and eagle there. Yeah, <laughs> it know. seemed a bit intricate, yeah, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Free kick Calvin to Forest Green Rovers. Yeah, I think he realised it wasn't on the pass. I did a little bit of research on Marcelo Bielsa. Um, yeah. We know he's from Argentina, defender in Newell Old Boys first yeah. division team, and he retired at 25. Yeah. And he qualified as a PE teacher before managing Newell's Old Boys, Argentina, Chile, yeah. Atletico Bilbao, Marseille, and Lille. So I would well, say Leeds have done very, very well yeah, to get him. Yeah, well, somebody has reputation, you know. Like, there have been a few clubs throughout the world who they want to take him. And uh, one thing I am looking forward to is this. I haven't seen it yet, but I haven't really been looking. Is this... Um, he's got this familiar touchline stance on his toes, knees bent, surveying the pitch from a low level. Have <laughs> oh, you seen yeah. that, Eddie? <laughs> Can I see off here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are quite, a, uh, you know, quite away. But um, where is he now? Can you spot him? No, no. I think he's sitting down yeah, there. I think he, may be. he is. He's ailing in the right back position. Decides to bring Berardi into the game, and then Berardi across to Cooper. He's got Dallas outside him. I suppose it's a good chance tonight for the players to get a good feel of the ball, Eddie. Yeah, and under not too yeah. much pressure. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also the opportunity for the coach to see the players in action. Yeah. You know, and assess them. Because that must be one of his strengths. You think the clubs he's managed and the yeah. countries he's managed. Yeah. Well Pep Guardiola in twenty twelve called him the best coach in yeah, the world. Well there you go. And you can't get much higher no, praise no, than that no, from no, the best really, coach in the world really. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throw to Forest Green. Down their left. Ailing with the header, Grubb with a, a nice bit of play there. He's up against Ailing, but the ball comes back to Berardi across to Cooper. Phillips okay. to Cooper. That's a neat play out to Dallas on the left wing. Back inside to Phillips along the floor. Roof comes short this time and then sprays it out Alioski. to Alioski. And he Good swings boy. it into the area. Oh, that was almost a great ball. And did you see who was in there again? Yeah, Luke Ailing. Yeah. That was him that was going for the header. It's amazing, isn't it? He was, he was over here in front of us it, at right back, and then he was, it, it's funny tonight, he was on the six you know, yard box. You've probably mentioned their two full backs more than any other player, Dallas and mm. Ailing. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's so easy for them to come in the game. Yeah. Certainly the left back is playing very, very yeah, narrow very here, very isn't narrow, he? Yeah. yeah. And in fact, I mean, Hernandez is, 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 is taking for a walk. Is coming, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Here's Ailing. Star of the first half so far in terms of work rate, goal scoring. Roof out on the right. Nicely right. laid off by Forshaw. Sice, lovely ball to Alioski. Sending in Dallas yeah, on the fun. overlap. Can he get the cross in? No, he can't. Good play by Shepard. But Dallas picks the ball up nicely. Sice, oh, that's uh, a nice idea. He was, and he's applauded. Too heavy. Too heavy. Alioski. Yeah. It's, it's unusual for a player like Sayers not to find that pass because you've got a lot of talent. Yeah. yeah. He's put too much weight in the ball there. Yeah. 35 minutes of the first half gone. Two goals for Leeds United. In the 16th minute, there was a corner from the left right footed by Hernandez, and it ended up with Roof. One touch and then a neatly taken shot to make it 1 0. And then nine minutes later, a great passing move from left to right led to Roof setting up Ailing for a pretty tidy six yard finish. 2 0 to Leeds United, never really in any trouble. And Forest Green, if they're going to get back into this match, I would suggest they need to try and do something yeah. in the last 10 minutes yeah. of this first half. But I don't, I can't see them getting much joy. No, how the game has panned out so far. You know, it's, it's been pretty comfortable for the least players. I probably take a workout. Yeah, the coach, you know, Marcelo Bielsa is looking for. You know, like yeah, got on the ball, but they're still got to work hard to try and make their openings. 
You mentioned earlier that you were talking to Mark Cooper, obviously son of Terry, one of yep, your old yep, teammates. Yeah, one of my teammates, yep. yeah. And I hear that Terry's in Tenerife, is that yeah, true? Yeah, Terry's been in Tenerife for yeah. a long time, yeah. Yeah, and he's well, is he? He's okay. He's okay? Well, oh. He's okay. Yeah. Well, here's another Cooper, Mark Cooper. That's Sorry, Liam the Cooper. Ball again. <laughs> Here's Ailing out on the right wing. Great pass. Swung in, oh. heading clear from the six yard box. Ailing picks the ball up again, just outside the area, out on the right. Hernandez is there, cutting inside. Great ball to Roof. Lovely one two, doesn't quite come off. It's cleared by the goalkeeper, but Liam Cooper's there. And so is Stuart Dallas. And as we've already said, Everybody keen to get on the ball. Here's Deutsch taking advantage of that mistake by Phillips, but leads it back in control. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. To Roof. Oh. Cleared by Rawson. But this is one way traffic now. Every time the ball leaves the Forest Green defence, it's picked up by yeah. Leeds and they attack straight away again. Well, he's, he's doing a job in front of the bike for as well, Calvin Phillips. He gave a silly free kick away there, but yeah. you know he's trying to get in there and just protect him. Well, here's the man we were talking about. Mills mm, and he's made, ball. made some ground. <laughs> oh, he's he got on the end of a ball, he was then tackled by Ailing and he's conceded a goal I think, kick. I think he's had more touches but, of the ball than ended in this game with Ailing. Yeah. <laughs> Mills has conceded a throw in level with the Leeds United area out on their right. It's going to be taken by Ailing. He's looking for somebody to make a run. Roof is ahead of him. Alongside him, he's got Berardi. And then Liam Cooper a little further across, but I think it's going to go long. Gunning chips it into the area, and a very cool head there. Gets a yep. round of applause from the crowd. Liam Cooper just backheads it to the keeper, and away leads go again through Dallas. Out on the left, back it comes to skipper Liam Cooper. And Dallas chips it forward. Aiming for Sice. Good play by Rawson yeah. in the right back position. Holds him off well. Up to Reed. He can't link up with Doidge, so Berardi lays it back to Peacock Farrell. And off leads to go again. This is Phillips just outside the centre circle. Chris pass to Hernandez on the right, along the floor to Roof, working a nice one-two with Hernandez, cutting inside, pass one, pass two. Can he get past Mills? No, he can't, but I think he's won himself a throw. Seven minutes to half time. Forest Green Rovers nil, Leeds United two. Goals by Roof and Ailing. And they could have had one or two more, but haven't created too much since that second goal in the 25th minute but here they are attacking through Dallas yeah they haven't really created and look at, look at the room look he has got there again and there's Ailing again in the box again Ailing chips it to the far post it's too long oh. for <laughs> well, well it was over Ruth's head Alioski it, huh? it was yeah. too high for him and well Dallas was going to volley and I think Alioski kept backing into him that's right here's Reed on the halfway line good challenge there by Berardi and then a foul by Hernandez gives Forest Green Rovers a free kick. Ten yards inside their half as they kick from left to right, coming towards the last five minutes of the first half. Sun's starting to set, but it's still a lovely evening. It's been a bit Beautiful fresher night. than it has yeah. been recently. Yeah, it's a nice night. yeah. James looking for some support from players like Winchester, number seven, who's playing alongside him in midfield, but in the end he wins a free kick on the halfway line. And James is saying, come on boys, make a run. Nobody is making a run, so he decides to go short, eventually getting the ball back on the halfway line. Oh, it now? He's getting incredibly frustrated. Size fouls him. It's not going anywhere. We're in the commentary position, virtually on the halfway line here at the new lawn. And it really does look like a new lawn. It's in fantastic condition. As you said, 
all pitches are no, yeah. at this stage of the season. Them, yeah. But they usually are right at the end of the season now as well. Yeah. Here's the free kick. Could be taken from halfway by Gunning. Up to the edge of the Leeds area. Great header clear by Cooper. Yeah. But here's Very James hard. trying to send Doidge through. It's too long. It goes yeah. over the... Oh, no, you've got to say that, you know, we'll have a many, we'll have tougher tasks ahead. But, you know, we've got to admire the way the players have approached the game, and, mm. you know, because they're crisp passing the ball around, they're working hard, they're getting it back quickly, as you say, and you know, that's the manager's philosophy. Yeah. They win the ball back quickly. Uh, so I think they'll be, be pretty pleased with the first 45 minutes, if we, you know, if it stays like this to half time. And they really want to please him, don't they? Oh, I mean, yeah. he's the they're new man. Up. He's come in with this reputation. Yeah. They've got to, frankly, work their socks yeah. off. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, they're not going to figure in his team. Grubb along the floor to Williams. On the halfway line for Forest Green. Back to Mills. Back to Williams. Williams eventually lays it back to Gunning and he puts it back to the goalkeeper. Leeds pressing well, you, really well, well. You can see the philosophy there. It, it showed you everything. It, you know, the, the man that was up there near the edge of the box trying to win the ball was Calvin Phillips. And he's actually playing in front of the, the back four. But he's seen the opportunity going close down and went and did it quickly. Yep. He put them under pressure and forced them to knock the ball back to the goalkeeper. I mean, this is what I can't understand, though. I mean, look, ellen has got all the time and space in the world to go in the ball, pick passes. It's a pass from Cooper on the yeah. left to Ailing on the right, and away go Leeds again. This time the clearance, so though, is just smashed away. The ball has gone out, I think. Yes, yeah, the linesman has finally spotted it. Yeah. Taken quickly by Berardi, across to Cooper. Dallas. Leeds just working well. They're getting lots of space, but obviously there are two divisions between these two sides, and the class is pretty obvious, despite the amount of yeah. work that Forest Green are getting through. Leeds... Is Alioski out on the left, working with Dallas and Sice. Comes inside, Sice alongside him, lays it back to Phillips, and then out to Alioski on the left. Ball pass. Oh, slight ball there. That's a bad ball because it just went straight to Rawson, and he was able to clear it. A throw though. Can Leeds get another goal? We've got three minutes left to half time. They lead 2 0 here at the new lawn. Forest Green Rovers nil. Leeds United 2, Roof and Ailing with the goals and a scoreline that doesn't really reflect their superiority or their dominance but Dallas Ball. with a great run down the left and Roof, oh, oh chance, my chance, goodness chance, me, chance. on but, the six yard box yeah. the cross came in from Dallas, first time cross, good cross and Roof, he just didn't get the decent connection. Yeah, bad, bad connection on the ball. He yeah. just tried to side fit it, redirect it towards the goal. Yeah. A bit like the one earlier when he missed it, you know. But so he's, he's making good runs, though. Yeah. You know, he cut across in the post there. Across in front of the defender. Ailing. Chest down and then a clearance. So and, uh, yep, throw in to Leeds United. Well, we're now into the last minute of normal time haven't been too many injuries haven't been no, any stoppages no. so i would have Fair thought minute, I think. Yeah. well i think you're probably right eddie we'll see in a second here's dallas out on the left wing just inside the forest green half to alioski well, we're killing me i've run inside again he's even it off for sure phillips always there looking for the ball cooper across to Ferradi. Chips it forward ball. to Roof, just inside ball. the area, to the right of the goal. Can he? Yep. No, he can't. Good play by Rawson. Just got a touch to it. Here's Grubb. To Shepard. Shepard back to the goalkeeper, who has to come out of his area and kick it right-footed from the right-back position. But here's Reed bursting towards the Leeds United area. Uh, Cross good, comes Berardi. Good, play, good, good bit of covering yeah, there. Yeah, good play, Berardi. Yeah. Here's Williams, poor control out on the right, throw to Leeds United. And we are looking for the fourth official. And there's a man standing over there with a board in his hand. Eddie, yeah, you tell me. Up yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say it's one, are you? You yeah, are right. Yeah, well done, my yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. Great prediction. <laughs> yeah, just one minute of stoppage time, and we've had 10 seconds of that, so. I have to be honest, I think it's unlikely we're going to get any more goals. No, but well, you mentioned earlier, you know, 
the young goalkeepers know anything they do really, you know. Here's Reed under pressure from Phillips. Good challenge there by Gunning and Reed. Now this looks dangerous. Here's Grubb out on the left. Into the area he goes. Can he get the shot away? He can. Oh, oh great there goal! goal. Oh, oh that's go. a wonderful goal it's by good. Grubb. It's well, soon, yeah. <laughs> he scored a hat trick against his old club, Western Super Mare, Dale Grubb. Last time out, and he's gone and scored a cracking goal tonight. He picked the ball up out on the left wing, cut inside, went past one man, and then fired a right footer. No chance at all for Peacock Farrell. So it's Forest Green Rovers 1, it's Leeds United 2. Eddie? Yeah, I mean, he struck it well. I think the goalkeeper may be a little bit disappointed that he beat his near post, but he did hit it well. It's hard. So it's a bit of a surprise that can bring the blue, that one. Well, a Dale Grubb tracker from, I would say, about uh, 16 yards just inside the area has given Forest Green Rovers a little bit of hope. Welcome back to the new lawn in Nailsworth in Gloucestershire. The halftime score, Forest Green Rovers 1, Leeds United 2. We're just getting our watches all ready. We're waiting for the referee to decide when he's going to start this second half. The technical staff, the managers, they're just getting themselves seated. I've just spotted the new Leeds United manager. There he is, Eddie. Just about to sit down. Yeah. We've got a substitution yeah. coming on. Number 10 for number 26. Reese Brown. Reese Brown has come on for Reuben Reed. Reed. Yeah. Reese Brown for Reuben Reed. And the referee is just about to blow his whistle, and away we go. So, second half underway. And Leeds United. They're kicking from right to left here. When we get a break in the play, I'll give you the, the two teams. For the moment, it's Carpenter in the forest green goal to our left, having to field the ball, a long kick from the Leeds United defence. And Carpenter, no chance with any of the two goals. Joining me in the commentary box this evening is the Leeds United legend, Eddie Gray. Eddie, your thoughts on the first 45 minutes? Um. Well, I just think that, you know, the Leeds United players approach the game in the right manner. You know, they're working hard. I mean, it's OK, you know, it's standing up here saying, oh, they've got plenty of time and space to pass the ball, but there's good movement from them. You know, they're making time and space for each other, and they're passing the ball pretty crisply, I think. And up, up to the last seconds of the first half, it was very comfortable. I was going to say, the only blot on the landscape is the goal, which yeah, was very yeah. well struck, but you've well had a struck. look at it on the replays yeah, now, I just think, and you feel what? I think the, goal, the young goalkeeper will be a little bit disappointed. I mean, um, I, would, I think he'd expect to make that save eight times out of ten. He struck it extremely well, though, in saying that. I mean, it was a great strike, you know, and you don't want to be too critical of a young goalkeeper, but for him to get beaten in the near post like that, it'll be you'll be a bit disappointed. Quick run through the Leeds United team. It's a 4-3-3 formation. Peacock, Farrell in goal. Ailing, Berardi, Cooper and Dallas across the back. And then we have uh, a midfield three of Phillips, Forshaw and Saez with Hernandez, Roof and Alioski, the three main strikers. Um, as Eddie has already said, there's been a lot of fluency about this team. Nobody sticking rigidly to their positions apart from obviously the back four. But uh, it's been a good first half performance. They will be annoyed that yeah. they've conceded. Yeah. I think the thing about football is as well, you know, you know yourself, you know, goals change games quite dramatically. And that'll give them a big lift, especially getting one just before half time when they've really been in the game. Well played. And here they are, attacking down the right. Well James losing out to Forshaw, number four to number four, and that's a nice pass, almost finding Roof but or poor pass by Saez, and in the end it's down to Gunning 
in the centre of the full screen defence. Poor pass picked up by Hernandez. And then chipped to the far post by Forshaw. The header by Alioski. Picked up by Saez. Out on the left wing. Back it goes to Dallas. He tries a shot. It's not a bad oh, one. Oh, marvellous effort and a marvellous save. Well struck by Stuart Dallas. And Great then the straight. goalkeeper, Eddie, talk us through that one. Great strike for Stuart Dallas. I mean, I think he picked his spot there as well. Tried to hit it with a bit of pace and get a bit of bend on it right in the far corner. Goalkeeper down very quickly to that and just get his fingertips to it and knocked it for the corner. Montgomery was the goalkeeper yeah. and it was a save. Jim Montgomery, I won't mention oh, yeah, too much about that for yeah. you, with your memories, yeah, yeah, Eddie, yeah. but yeah. that was a very good save. Great Diving save. Yeah. full length to his left. So Montgomery with the save. Here's the corner from the right. Left footed to the far oh. post and Cooper's there. He's won himself another corner. Right in front of the Leeds United supporters. They'll be delighted to have seen that shot by Stuart Dallas. Uh, does he score many goals, Eddie? He scored a few goals, Stuart. You know, uh, he, you know, he usually plays out wide. You know, but he's you know up top. But he's been playing left back a few occasions and right back as well. He's pretty versatile. So. Here's the corner from the left by Hernandez, right footed. This is where the first goal came from. To the far post again. Good header clear there by Rawson, and then well won by Alioski. Hernandez cutting back in, but he. Loses the ball to Grubb, who then loses it to Alioski, and Hernandez picks it up again, out on the left. Hernandez looking to send in Alioski, and he wins himself another corner, so the third well, corner on the trot at the start of this second half. Yeah, well, the game's just taken a similar pattern to the first half, when we're getting on the ball now, and passing it around, putting them under pressure. Short corner this time to Alioski, back to Hernandez, swings it to the far post. There's a good header by Rawson, and cleared from the edge of the Forest Green area, but well picked up by Dallas. Here's Ailing trying to chip the ball yeah. forward. It goes straight through to Montgomery, and he's anxious to get Forest Green on the attack because that goal in the last minute, well, the only minute of stoppage yeah, yeah. time, will have buoyed them up, won't it? It will have done, but, you know, once again, you know, we are going on the second balls a lot quicker than them, balls that are loose in the middle of the park. And we've seen, you know, Forshaw's chasing the ball there. Just a minute ago, he did close down very quickly and win the ball. And it led to us win another corner kick. That's a way. That's got to be a way. Yeah. A quick reminder that uh, you can see the Leeds United pre-season friendlies. £3.99 per game or £14.99 for all five. That looks pretty good value with the bundle. Starting, obviously, at York City and then going to Southend, Oxford United, Geisley and Las Palmas. That's five games for £14.99 or £3.99 Per game. We've got one substitution, by the way, Eddie. Reese Brown has come on for Ruben Reed. Reed sort yeah. of flattered to deceive a little in the first half. He had a couple of opportunities to go in the ball, I thought. That never really happened for him. Forest Green showing a little bit more invention, a bit more initiative yeah, in this second half, and they're sub. attacking now down their right through number two, Shepherd. Looking for a bit of support. It comes from 18. Back it goes inside to Brown on as a substitute. Knocking the ball around well, but suddenly crowded out, but fouled. And that was an opportunity there for Winchester to turn, but he was brought down. But they've got, they're back on the ball now. Winchester, number seven, to Brown. James to Brown, seeing a lot of the ball since coming on as a substitute. Mills, poor pass, picked up by Phillips on the edge of the area. Nice, sensible pass back to oh, Peacock Farrell. And a great ball, as Eddie says, to Ailing down the right. Here's Hernandez inside to Forshaw. Beautiful little chip trying to find Ailing, but here's Saez and his. Oh, great effort by Alioski. Maybe should have done a bit better. Fine defending. I, I don't think he needs to take the first touch. I think ah. he could fit it first time. Yeah. He's let him get a chance to close him down. But a good move again. Dallas with the cross, the clearance, eventually finding its way out to Alioski. Just had a chance there. Nice ball inside to Saez. Saez looking for Roof. Good play by the centre forward. He's brought down in the area. That looks like a penalty to me. Oh, goodness me. He was brought down, certainly on the line, Eddie, wouldn't you say? We haven't well, got a monitor he's here. He's given so. a free kick to them. I know, I can't believe it. I think he's accusing him of diving. Yeah. 
Now that seems very, very strange. Yeah. This year, but well. Kemar Roof was, he took the ball, he could see somebody was outside him, he laid it out to them, and then he got brought down from what I could see, just inside the area. Yeah, Where like is that. the free kick? Well, the free kick, it, the goalkeeper's putting the ball on the line. <laughs> that means it's, it should kick. have been a penalty. <laughs> Mind you, penalties. I think we've had enough penalties yeah. during the World Cup. There's no yeah, VAR yeah, here tonight, yeah. remember, Eddie? <laughs> um, Brown, four Forest Green. They're kicking from left to right. Here's Mills. Looking for a little bit of support. Oh, Good challenge. I, mm. I, I doubt that was a foul by Hernandez. And, uh, I think he got a really win now. Yeah, Forshaw was clear on goal. Ball eventually back to Rawson and then he lays it back to Montgomery. Right footed, Forest Green keeper, up, aiming for Deutsch. Tries to send Grubb clear. Grubb gets taken out, but the referee... <laughs> now, I've not come across this referee before. Let's see if we've got a, if we've got a name for him. Looking at the programme, I can't see one, to be honest, but one or two of his decisions are starting to... Um, well, yeah, the, crowd, the crowd let them know there. I'm going to shout to chance in VAR. <laughs> <laughs> Throw to Leeds United. Ailing down to Hernandez. Well robbed by the oh, goal scorer. Oh, no, it worked offside. Yeah. In fact, yeah, it's Doig. Yeah, he was. He was in offside position. That's right. Well, we're just wondering whether Dale Grubb will have a, another chance of goal because. Uh, Another chance at goal because he scored an absolute cracker in the one minute of stoppage yeah. time. His only real chance. Probably the best streaker again. Absolutely. Here's Forshaw. Along the ball, along the floor it goes to Dallas. Down the left to Alioski. It's a pretty good tackle there by number 18. with Montgomery, out to Rawson, inside to James, closed down by Phillips, gets rid of the ball nicely, to Winchester, and it's played up to Mills, spotted by Ailing. Hernandez on the ball now, good pass across to Cooper. Mirardi to Saez, Kalioski. Dallas. Everybody moving. Everybody interested yeah. in getting the ball. Let's go hit that ball for Stuart Dallas That's there. That's right. From the halfway Forshaw, line. Forshaw made a decent run for the midfield area. Brown, nice turn. Back to Brown. Archibald is on as a substitute. He's wearing 18, playing yeah. in the right of the midfield for Forest Green Rovers is Forshaw in the centre circle. Nice little run there, but back it goes to Cooper. Gerardi alongside him. Dallas out on his left. Great play there by Alioski. Wins himself a throw. And we've played 11 minutes of the second half. The pattern of the game has not changed that much. I mean, you know, they're putting a few more passes together, but we're still in complete control. Peacock Farrell picks up the ball from Cooper and then sprays it down to Phillips, back to Peacock Farrell. Left footed, chip forward, aiming for Roof. Good header by Rawson. Brown not able to get on the end of that, so it's Berardi to Phillips. Useful looking pass. He's looked quite lively at the start of the second half of Boy Brown. Yep. One of two substitutes, Theobald and Brown for Forest Green Rovers. For sure. Back to Dallas. Cooper with a lovely pass out to Hernandez on the right wing. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. That's a wonderful well, we play. Can he get the cross in? No, he can't. Eventually, it's Good hacked player, away though. by Good player, though. Great first touch. Wonderful pass yeah, as well. Yeah, it was. Size, 
chips the ball Lovely into the ball. area. There's Ailey once again. Yeah. I think he wants to be a striker. Yeah, here, yeah, I think he, 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 he finds himself up there. Look. He's a closet striker. Yeah. He wants to be there, firing yeah. in the goal. Yeah. He's got one already, yeah. and he's been, well, he certainly was in the first half, the most active, the most energetic was, yeah, yeah. of the Leeds United players. And it's a corner now. It's going to be taken by Fernandez from the right. Cooper's there. Phillips is there. Roof is there. So is Berardi. They're getting into that little conga thing yeah, that England were doing in the World Cup. They're now breaking up. In comes the corner. Phillips tries to get on the end of it, and in the end, it was a foul by Phillips on Mills, and it's uh, a free kick. Just a reminder about the matches here on Leeds United TV, 3 99 per game, the games that are coming up. York City on the 19th, Southend on the 22nd, Oxford United on the 24th, Geisley on the 26th, and Las Palmas on the 29th. You can either pay 3 99 per game or 14 99 for all five games. And that seems Not pretty bad. good value to me. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you say, it is, Nick? yeah. 15 quid yeah. divided by five, you're getting them for three quid yeah, instead of good. four quid. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a saving. Here's good the ball. cross from the right. Ooh. A little bit too I'd long love. for Alioski. Dallas is trying to keep it in. Good move by Leeds. Foreshaw with the cross from the right. And the referee deciding it's a throw to Forest Green Rovers, much to the I don't, chagrin I don't think he knew. I don't think he knew. I think he just <laughs> thought, yeah, I'll give it to the defensive team. Yep. <laughs> Leeds United fans aren't happy. One of the bits of advertising around this Reno eco ground is sustainability in sport and Leeds United are sustaining their lead here quite easily. They lead 2-1. Two <laughs> goals by Roof and Ailing in the 16th and the 25th minute. Schein was taken off that first half performance by the fantastic drive by Dale Grubb in the single minute of stoppage time. But Leeds have continued to press in the second half as they did in the first half. Mills. Aiming long, too long, ball picked up by the fourth official, taken quickly, and it's Phillips out to Hernandez. Hernandez cutting inside nicely, for sure. Here's Cooper. Alioski. Dallas. Hernandez. Good play by the Spaniard, good play by the Scotsman. And for sure. Hernandez with a yeah, chip to bend to the one post. Good play, to bend in the end there was nobody there. He'll be disappointed with self Hernandez there with that because he's usually good at them. Yeah. You know, he usually can pick his spot for that area. I was say, should he have had a shot, you think? That was a shot. Oh, he he was tried a to shot. bend it. Ah, sorry. He tried to bend it in right. the far corner. I was giving him the bend. No, 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 no. Trying to pick no. somebody else. Yeah. He would thank you for that, but yeah. no for me saying he was trying to bend it in the corner. Well, that's what he was trying to do. Well. I know it didn't look like it because it came off his toe. Yeah, that's right. Straight across the goal. My eyesight should be good, Eddie. Yeah. I'm not waiting to see the optician. I'm yeah. a new pair of glasses on. And they're working very well so far. Here we go. Here's Cooper. Across to Dallas. Hernandez, as always, there looking for the ball. Always giving players an option. Poor pass by Dallas is Brown under pressure from Alioski. Great fighting back. Yeah. Yeah, Leeds are certainly up for this game. Certainly looking good for another goal, if not two. Here's Ailing out on the right. And Alex scored the second goal. We've got Alioski waiting at the far post. Here's Hernandez. See, you can just oh. see that, you know, Leeds have slightly changed, you know, like. It, you know, at times now, you know, Saez is playing that right side. It's Hernandez. It's tucked into the middle of the park now, and if you probably notice, he's getting on the ball more in that yep. area. And Saez has went out to the right side. And I always feel that Pablo Hernandez is better when he's involved in the game. Uh, no, 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 really necessarily in a wide area. But they'll keep chopping and changing there too. You know. 
He wants to see, won't he, and the manager? Yeah. Which yeah. players fit yeah. In, yeah. into which positions, and all yeah. he's done yeah. is train with them. Yeah. Obviously, they've had games. I mean, but you know, is... when you look at it, you know, they're just swapping positions at well now. Saez is back in there now, and Hernandez is right side. It's making it difficult for them. Here's Archibald trying to get through, but the ball eventually coming back to Peacock Farrell. Here's Cooper. <laughs> what Leeds won't want to do, Eddie, is let Forest Green back into this game. Correct, because, you know, I mean, you know, 2-0 two, two, two was fine, 2-1's yeah, not yeah, bad, but yeah. to be 2-2 two, two, two yeah, against a, yeah, a yeah. lead 2 I think, I think the thing about the game, you know, and I said this earlier at the start of the game, you know, whatever game you're playing, or whatever standard of opposition, you always want to win the game, you know. I know it's, it, the results don't mean a lot just now, but you still don't li like to win football matches. 18 minutes of the second half gone. Forest Green Rovers won, Leeds United two, no goals in the second half, three in the first half. Bit of head tennis being played there. Yes. It's very good. The crowd realised it as well, or at least the Leeds United contingent realised it. That's a nice little move. Out to mm. Archibald, out on the left. And Archibald loses out eventually to Dallas. Phillips, across the foreshore. Good touch. Yep. First time ball, so effective as long as it's accurate. It's a nice fast foreshore. Out to Dallas. Sires switch wings again. Up. Here he is, as you said. Yeah. Looking for the ball, looking for the crossfield pass. There it goes to Ailing, who's in the area. Nobody at the moment. A great run by Forshaw. Can he get there? Yeah. Well defended. Yeah. Good play by Archibald, getting between the ball and Forshaw as it ran over the goal line. Yeah, if you notice what they've done as well, they've stuck somebody left side, you know, wide left to stop Luke Kalen from coming in again. Yeah. You know, because the first, the first half it was just too easy for Luke to come into the game. And, you know, it will, you know. They obviously realised that Mills yeah. was a bit of a weak link and they've given him some support, haven't they? Yeah, well, he, he was left in his own there, you know, playing yeah. against two players. Here he is now on the ball. Yeah. Grubb's been to help him. Good ball. Not a bad cross. Oh, oh great effort. Oh, great save. By Doidge on the far post and a wonderful save by the keeper. I think everybody, including your defender, saw that ball was going out of play. Absolutely. He kept going. Kept going. Peacock Farrell really had to a good save, react that. with his right hand. Here's Archibald out on the right. Is there another goal in this game for Forest Green Rovers? Shepard across to James on the edge of the area. Trying to send Brown in. Poor pass. Should be a goal kick. Yeah. So that was a, a great run by Mills. Yeah, a lovely yeah, cross. Yeah. And nice then cross and a good save for the goalkeeper. Yeah. Concentration there was good for the young goalkeeper. So that happened in the 20th minute. It was Mills with the cross and Deutsch yep. with the effort and the save by the keeper, Peacock Farrell. Writing down a couple of notes here, Eddie, as we move into the last 25 minutes, and that's really the, the first effort we've had from either side. In this for by Stuart Dallas's. Oh, sorry. Apart, the, yeah. apart from the Stuart Dallas. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Dallas try, which is well set, saved by Montgomery. But apart from that. Good ball. Alioski, out on the left, inside is Dallas. Chips it to the far post, perhaps looking for a shot. Almost got the ball, Brown. To Williams. Brown back to Shepherd. There's Rawson. Picking the ball up midway inside the forest green half. He needs some options and there aren't too many, oh, no. so he has to go back. Gunning. Sort of running out of ideas at the moment. They need somebody to make a run. There's Shepard, but immediately closed down by Dallas. Good play by Archibald. Archibald cutting across field. Along the floor it goes to Winchester. Good tidying up there by Phillips and away comes Sayers. Lovely pass. Here's Roof. Chance for a shot, maybe. Sias.
tries a little chip. Yeah. Not a bad yeah, effort. Yeah, not a bad effort. We just never wrapped his foot around the ball enough. Yeah, nice idea. Shame yeah. about the yeah. final yeah. product. Yeah. 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 Couple of substitutions here. Yeah. Haven't got all the numbers, so I just have to um, tell you what's coming on. Six and twenty-two. That's a squat. So Rawson coming off. And there are big lad. Twenty-two is coming on. Um, We've got names, but we've got no numbers, Eddie. Uh, so a couple of substitutions for Forest Green Rovers. No substitutions as yet for Leeds United. Um, the new manager, Marcelo Bielsa, is sitting there at the end of a line of chairs. Legs crossed, he looks quite happy with the way things are going. And I suspect he'll be happier if they have a third goal. Really, just to no, I, I don't think they're too, be, be too concerned about the result. They want to win the game, obviously, but his first game in charge of Leeds United. But I think the most important thing would be for him to assess the players, to look at their fitness, you know, what he thinks of certain players. You know, it's always interesting when you get a new manager coming in like that. You know, he'll be sitting there thinking, the first thing a manager like him will probably be thinking, where can I improve this side? How do you yeah. improve them? Yeah. Here's Phillips. Good ball. For sure. Go on, keep Running going. Well. Running well. He's got Sayers alongside him and Alioski. Cross to the far post. Good save by the yeah, keeper. I think just, I touched too many of that again, Alioski. You think he should have just crossed it yeah, first yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, he just, just narrowed the angle for himself. He, he just narrowed the angle for yeah. himself. Yeah. Um, and the defenders have that split second yeah, extra yeah. to prepare yeah. themselves, whereas a first time cross is so well played there yeah. by Peacock Farrell. Who can't yeah, he reads the game quite well now. He has come out well, yeah. yeah. Nice bit of sweeper keeping there. Hernandez really working his socks off. Oh, oh, fouls. Yeah. He knew himself. Yeah. I think that was just frustration. Quickly taken. To Winchester, but he loses the ball and it's picked up eventually by Deutsch on the halfway line. Bielsa is they, they, sitting they, on the on the bench with yeah. a sheet of paper. Yeah. They've been more sprightly the second half, I've got to say. They've tried to pick the pace up a little bit. Yeah. No, they obviously didn't want to lie down, and the goal no. just before half time gave them hope that they might get something. And they've had the best chance apart from that Stuart Dallas shot. But mm. they've got about a quarter of the match left to try and get something. Good run. Rub. Good effort. Oh, straight to the goalkeeper. Theobald, just inside yeah, the area, yeah, yeah. side foot along the floor, picked up easily by Peacock Farrell. And away you go, Leeds United again, for sure. Enjoying the freedom of the park and really keeping Leeds United going. Alongside this man, Phillips, and this man, Hernandez. That's a beautiful pass out to Alioski on the left wing. Now, he's got Dallas alongside him. Sayers. Here's Alioski. Dallas picks the ball up. Probably needs a bit of support well from played. Alioski. And across it comes to Sayers. Along the floor to Roof, inside the air. A lovely ball to Alioski. This time the cross is there, That's along the floor, not to the far post. But the referee has offside. offside. Yeah, well, he's been far side, he's got the flag up. Good move, though. You were, saying, you were saying before we came on air for the, the second half, Eddie, that you hadn't seen any of the substitutes. No, no That's, plan. That's Kamil Miazek, Sam Dolby, Hugo Diaz, and Oil Ray, you haven't seen any of them play. Looks as if you're not going to see them play. <laughs> well, I think, I think, you know, it's just here before the game, I think the, the coach will want the players to play as long as possible. Yeah. You, know, you might see somebody standing on the touchline now, looks as if they're going to come on. Shepard to Archibald to Shepard. Cross to Grubb. 
can't quite control it, but he's fouled, yeah. and it's a free kick to Forest Green, midway inside the Leeds United half. There's a substitution now. Oh, Another Forest one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the substitution. Lloyd James yeah. coming off. Well, when you actually look at the Leeds United bench, there doesn't seem any movement at all. No. And the thing shots off. <laughs> So presumably he'll be saying to the rest of the squad members, you'll get your chance in, well, you know, yeah, against so York or Oxford or whatever. Here's the free kick to be taken by Brown, just about five yards outside the centre circle. Two substitutes getting involved. Oh, yeah. Hayden Hollis is one well, of them, 32. Well, they completely wasted that free kick, didn't they? Yeah. Never knocked down the box, played it short. You know, if you're, if you're playing a short free kick, there's always got to be a purpose in it. There was no purpose in that whatsoever. They ended up rolling the ball out of play for a throw-in for us. A complete and utter yeah. waste of time. Yeah. And Leeds United now back in control, back in cruise control, really. Cooper, Alioski, Dallas, Roof. Nice little turn by Alioski. Yeah. Roof on the edge of the area. Must try a shot from here. Does. Good save Straight. by Montgomery. Just going to his yeah, left. Yeah. A sort of double fisted yeah. punch. Yeah. And uh, it's good straight for Kimar Roof. That type of save you'd expect the goalkeeper to make. It was close to him, but it was a decent save. He got it. The one thing he did there, put it away for the target area. He got it well wide, the goalkeeper. So Roof shot. Almost goal number three for Leeds United. They lead 2-1 here at the lawn, the new lawn, home of Forest Green Rovers. Forest Green finished 21st out of 24 teams in League Two last season, just one point above the relegation, but the key thing was they stayed. And they're now 2-1 down against the side who finished 13th in the championship. And really, when you think about it, Eddie, it was a disappointing season last season, bearing in mind... It was a disappointing season when you think of the star we had, you know? Yeah. You know, and everybody was very optimistic, and then it just fell away, which was a bit disappointing. Oh, offside. Yeah. He was in that offside position when the ball say, was played. I was going to say, chance for Ruth, yeah. the ball deflected to him, poor that's, clearance. That's but twice it's happened to him tonight. Absolutely. So, looking ahead, what do you think would be a good season for Leeds to get into the playoffs? Promotion. <laughs> ah, right. That's what you call a good season. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, everybody's got to be optimistic before you start playing football. Mm -hmm. The aim for everybody at the football club has got to finish in the top two. And if we can't do that, to finish in the top six. <laughs> yeah. So, Carl Winchester coming off. Jordan Simpson. Now, Jordan Simpson is the son of the former Jamaican international, Fitzroy Simpson. Oh, right. Did you know that, yeah, Eddie? Yeah. No, I didn't. It no. just shows I've done a little yeah, bit of homework. Yeah, you know? it's good, Because <laughs> I must admit, we've got, we, we've got a team sheet with no numbers on it, and I've got a, a list of their players yeah. with some numbers on it, so we're, we're doing our best. Anyway, half an hour of the second half gone, just 15 minutes left. 2-1 the score at half-time, 2-1 the score now. A couple of chances in the second half for Dallas and, Dallas with a couple of chances, and Roof, you know, yeah. yeah. And, um, and forward. And Deutsch had a chance yeah. for Forest Green, but here's Berardi bursting over the halfway line. Nice two-footed player. See, See, it's, it's just a, a little bit more difficult, you know, we've no mentioned Luke Allen as much this half because They've stuck somebody out there on that left-hand side just yep. to make it difficult for him to get forward. It was a perfect example out there, you know. He's trying to get forward and eventually miscontrolled the ball was out of the park or somebody was closing him down quickly. Berardi back to Cooper. Dallas, as usual, making himself available down the left here. And Alioski a little further upfield, always looking for the ball. Is Berardi puts his foot on the gas to Roof. 
to size to four oh, short. Nice. This is good stuff. Alioski out on the left, cuts inside, almost gets into the area, waits for Dallas to overlap him. Lovely cross. Roof couldn't get on the end of it. It's a corner though. He did well to get to Stuart Dallas because the pass was a little it bit was a bit. Absolutely, he did very, very well mm. to catch it. One or two. Here we go. The Leeds United faithful starting oh, yeah. to cheer their heroes and sounding good voice when they've been cheering so far. Here's the corner. It's a lovely flick on. It's Berardi with the flick on. And then Berardi, well, I thought he took him out, but it play on, says the referee. Hernandez, square. Cross to Ailing. Saez. Chips it in. There's Roof. Great header. Oh, great opportunity. In the end, the header just going wide of the left hand. He's annoyed with himself because that was a lovely little chip from Saez yes. out on the right. Yeah, I think he's got to head it back where it came from. I think he had it it's head the head old the principle, isn't course, it? Yeah. Put it back where it came from, I, but he I, didn't. I don't think he made good connection with the header there. Mm. He pulled away for the defender very well, and a terrific ball for Saez. Yeah. He'll probably be very disappointed he never get his second goal of the night there. So he's had a, a couple of efforts in the second half. Shot saved by the keeper and then that header just went wide. And this is Berardi in the right back position across to Forshaw. Nice one too with Phillips. In fact, it goes back to Berardi. Then a very ball. loose pass and that's... Well... Oh, oh, straight to the goal here. Again, it's another yeah. chance. Yeah. He didn't... I don't think he connected quite with that, did Archibald. He was just yeah. outside the area, but there might be another goal in this for Forest Green, but if there is to be, they're going to have to take chances like that because they're not coming along very often. No. <laughs> Here's Ailing, Berardi directing the traffic, saying, off you go, don't bother passing back to me, just keep going. And he's doing that, and then he's going long. And there goes Hernandez down the right, and Roof is there in the middle, and the cross comes across, but it's blocked. Ball. Oh, it's a goal kick. I, I thought never he... really got it to that. No. I got the impression it was going to be a corner. Yeah. Hernandez thought it was a corner, but the referee decided that it's a goal kick. Yeah. And we're now into the last 10 minutes. Just another reminder about the cost of the next game. It's £3.99 per game for the five pre-season friendlies coming up, or £14.99 for all five. So four quid or three quid for each one if you go for the bundle that seems pretty good value good header the defender they're running back towards his own goal Very that's calm. gunning he's he's had a good game yeah. gunning chips the ball forward aiming for doidge but cooper i'd imagine you'd be getting a few tired legs out there now first game especially for Leeds united players yeah you know the, the forest green players have the a little advantage of playing a couple of games. They have, they have. In fact, uh, we did have a look and see. They've had uh, a 2 0 win over Brinscom and Thrupp, a 3 1 oh, win right. over Torquay United, which you mentioned earlier, yeah. and then that 6 all uh, draw against yeah. Western Super. <laughs> yeah. So they're three, this is their fourth pre season game. It's Leeds' first one, and just a reminder of those games that are, oh, are coming up. York City, Southend United, Oxford and Guiseley all the way and Las Palmas at home. Various kickoff times, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 7.45. Oh, then, yeah. Here's a great run by Archibald and again a rather... Well, he came finish. He didn't finish. I don't think he knew what he was going to do. I don't think yeah. he knew if he was going to cross it or if he shot it go, and in the end he done not either. That's the word, <laughs> tame. He lacked conviction, didn't yeah, he? Yeah. You, you didn't think he knows yeah. what he's doing no. here. He did very well to make the opening for Absolutely, himself. yeah. He's been quite lively, though. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's been yeah, on as a, yeah, a yeah. half-time yeah, substitute. Yeah, no. um, he's been, you know, he gets the ball and he tries to run and put defenders under pressure. Yeah, and he shows a bit of class and he's, he's on loan from Brentford and he yeah. began with Celtic. Yeah. yeah. So he's he's got a little bit of yeah, pedigree. Yeah. Berardi back to Peacock Farrell. Dallas looking for somebody to make a run. 
Saez does. Back it goes to Peacock Farrell. Eight minutes left. Forest Green Rovers one, Leeds United two. Oh, that's too long, that. Something's happening on the Leeds United bench, but it's not a substitution. All the, the great man, he's just got up. Marcelo Bielsa has... He's now on the touchline with a piece of paper and we're looking to see, is he going to make a late substitution or not? I wouldn't have thought he will, but what do you reckon, Eddie? Well, I think he wants to put the, all the players, the majority of players, to play the field in 80 minutes. I says that before the game. I think that would be his idea. Yeah. Looking at the number of players he's travelled down with, you know. And I think he wants to try and see it through. Fine header by Phillips in the middle of the park. Oh, that's an unlucky little layoff there by Sires to Foreshaw. Great challenge by Dallas, bursting over the halfway line. Alioski on the left, Foreshaw hasn't stopped running. He's outside him, but he comes inside. Dallas tries a lovely little chip, just over the top of the Too bar. Too much that one again. Yeah. Unlucky. Yeah, nice idea. move. It's a nice move. Great he's, idea. He started it he there and he almost finished it. He's come in the game well, second half, Stuart Dallas, you know. Yeah. The first half he did as well. You probably notice it more this half because he's no side of the pitch here. Yeah, that's very fair <laughs> comment. <laughs> Although, I think you said in the, um, in the first half, yeah. most, of the commentary, most of the commentary, the names that we were talking yeah, about were Ailing <laughs> and Dallas yeah, the fullback, yeah. yeah. And Ailing's not had the freedom that he had in the first half. But uh, yeah, I, think, I think Mark Cooper's seen that was a too easy outlet for us. And yeah rectified that. Alioski inside to Dallas. Sires alongside him. Good play. Now here's Ailing. A rare glimpse of the ball. In oh, Alioski taken out. Now that's a free and kick. Sires. Sires taken out. Sorry. He was quite, he was quite clever at that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was just as bad as it looked. You think he made a bit? <laughs> no, I think oh. it was a free kick, but, yeah. you know. What did you make of the, the World Cup antics of people like Neymar and, and all that, Eddie? I, I mean, he just went a bit over the top. Yeah. 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 It's sad, isn't it? When, yeah. you, when you've got genuinely talented players yeah, who feel the player, need to that. resort yeah. to that sort of stuff. Yeah, I know. Right, we've got a free kick here. Now, you tell me, you've watched Leeds a lot more than I have. This is well, uh, Hernandez well, and. I would, I would think for that position, Hernandez will hit it. But, you know, say, uh, Ali Oscar can hit them as well. So it's Alioski, but I think I'd left for foot, I'd and for Hernandez, Hernandez yeah. right foot, and it's uh, about what uh, 25 yards yeah, out yeah. to the right of the D. I've seen Hernandez bend the knees in before. Yeah. Here we go then. Is it going to be Forest Green Rovers one, Leeds United three? There it goes. Ooh, yeah, not far just away. Yeah. Wide of the yeah, upright. Yeah. He's usually a bit more accurate now for that position, Hernandez. Five minutes left. Forest Green Rovers one, Leeds United two. We'll run through the game at the end. We've got a few chances to talk about in the second half, although no goals. Phillips, good challenge by Cooper. Ailing, Brown. This is the goal scorer, Grubb. Brown hassling Saez. Saez coming away with the ball. He beautifully balanced, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, is. he's oh, like pass again, no? Again, I, it's the commentator's curse. That, I was just complimenting he's him. Few, and he's, he's done that a few times tonight, though. He's still over hit passes, you yeah. know? Yeah. Oh, a bit rusty, I think. Yeah, he's, he's well balanced. He, yeah, he yeah, does yeah. look he's a lovely low, football. Low, it, low, low sense of gravity, you know. That's just what I was going to say. Like, he can yeah. turn very sharply. He and Alioski have got that. And Hernandez as well. And Hernandez, yeah. So just four minutes to go, Forest Green Rovers one, Leeds United two. All the goals in the first half. We've come close to a fourth goal a couple of times, but neither side has managed to score. Four short brought down, free kick taken quickly by Hernandez. Dallas chesting the ball down beautifully. Alioski, yeah. good challenge there by Archibald. Oh, what a great challenge there by Berardi. Nice. And here's a chance 
for Hernandez. Oh, fine yeah. save by the keeper. Hernandez yeah. was through there. Yeah, 12 scored. yards out and should have scored. Yeah. Good save probably, by probably Montgomery. Went, probably the best chance of the game. He's hurt himself as well. Oh, <laughs> Big cheer goes up as Sayers and Roof is saying, look, I was here free on the edge no. of the box and you went for the, the glory, the glory. shot. Oh, you never have done that in your I day. Thought, I, thought, I thought Pablo Hernandez went through there. We're just going to dink over the I keeper. thought so. Yeah. But he, he tried to hit it too firmly, too firmly maybe? Yeah. 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 And it was a good save by the keeper. Although, keeper did well. Smothered yeah. it well. Yeah. Three minutes to go. Leeds leading 2 1. Always in control, at times in cruise control. But they haven't actually marked their super superiority with enough goals. Archibald through to Brown. Here's Deutsch on the edge of the area, trying to get a shot in. Berardi with the block, and eventually tidied up by Forshaw. He gets taken out by Theobald, who lifts him up and says, Well, sorry about that. And it's a free kick. <laughs> Phillips, Berardi, cross to Cooper. Alioski making a run, Roof coming short. Nice little nod down, but for sure to Roof. Roof to Alioski. Can he get to the byline? No, he's <laughs> run out of space. Needs a bit of support. Up comes Dallas. Alioski keeps going. For short, on a player one two. Alioski to the far post. Grub eventually trying to clear the ball, being manhandled by Ailing. It's a oh, corner. Yeah. I thought Ailing was, um, yeah, was all over him. Wasn't he, it? he looked to be all over him, and it's um, a corner to Leeds United and we've got yeah. 50 seconds yeah. of normal time so we'll keep an eye an out for the fourth official yeah chance here Hernandez going to take it from the right right footed and let's see yeah there's the conga again it's breaking up pretty quickly Hernandez ball cleared away Sayers playing well working hard all the time that's the one thing that's impressed me tonight yeah, everybody yeah. has yeah, put in a shift and a half well, i think the the manager will demand that. yeah <laughs> yeah but every footballer should do yeah, that anyway but anyway. obviously it tonight the, a they don't want to lose b they want to no. impress the manager and they have played Oops. well and they should well we've, yeah. we've discussed a few a few chances um One minute of stoppage time to come. Here's Cooper to Dallas. Safety first to Phillips. It's been a good workout for the team tonight. Yeah. You know, and they played they played the game in the right manner. Man of the match from you? Uh, well, I think Luke Hill in first half was played tremendous. You yep. know. I think the second half he's not come into the game as much. You know, you get a few players that have performed well. But at this stage of the season, I don't think that's the most important. Thing, no, you know. but, but but you know, I think I think Forshaw's played well. Forshaw and Phillips, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I would have said, have been right at the heart of everything that yeah. Leeds have done, yeah. and they. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. I was asking you about a Leeds man of the match, yeah. and their and goalkeeper's yeah, just goal been made yeah. their man of the match. You've got a couple of saves, yeah. Yeah. Well. No, he's played well. Yeah, I mean, it was quite an entertaining game that the night. You know, I enjoyed it. It's yeah, nice to see the players back in action again. The final whistle has yep. just gone, so let's quickly just run through. First goal came in the 16th minute, that corner from Hernandez from the right, and, and Roof showed a good first touch, but it was on his own. You know, poor defender for them, you've got to say. Second goal was a lovely move. You know, when you actually think about it, starting on the left-hand side, a few intricate passes, ends up with Kimar Roof, and he just laid it on for Luke to come in, side foot in the back of the net. And then we, we didn't think they would get a shot at goal all night, and, Lo and behold, in injury time, first half, boy comes in for the left side, hits a tremendous shot and beats the goalkeeper at the near post, but it was a tremendous strike, it's got yeah. to be said. So no goals in the second half, but we've, we've got a list of chances. There was a shot by Stuart Dallas, which yep. was saved, Great pushed save. away by Montgomery. And then we had um, Mills, who'd been under pressure.